Are you looking for an advanced database system that you can use free? Well, there's Basepro. It's an Airtable alternative that lets you create advanced database that's super easy to use. On this video, I'm going to show you how to create rows, how to get around, and how to create your database right away. So let's go jump over to my desktop right now. What's up everyone, my name is George and this is SaaS Master. Today we're gonna check out Base Row. And if you guys wanna head on over to Base Row's website, the link will be provided in the description. Like I mentioned before, it's a free version that lets you create databases. Now, this is their main site and you're gonna be able to look at what you can actually do with Base Row and you can see that they are really advanced. Let me show you really quickly the pricing so you understand how it works. So they have the hosted version, which is free for now. That means there's no limits to it. You can use it for free. There's no limitation on rows, etc. You can go ahead and use it right now. And they have the self-hosted version it, that's always free. What does that mean? Well, if you have a server, you can load in the files for base row and use it completely free. You have complete access to it and there's lim no limitations to it. And they have an early bird premium system right now that's only $5 per month. It's a few little things that you're gonna get extra than what you would get with the free version. I mean, most people would do fine with the free version and the hosted version. So let's get on over to my base row dashboard. This is where you're going to get started. And one of the things I recommend, since this, since this is an open source um, system, I do recommend that you give some love to Git on GitHub, GitLab, and follow their social media accounts. Now you're gonna be able to view at your left menu and you're gonna be able to view your dashboard, trash, and the base rows that you've created, or databases, okay? Just so you understand what a database is, let me take for example, you know what? There's a complex CRM that looks really nice and flashy on the dashboard. Well, on the back end, it's just a database. It's a back system like this one, and it's gonna grab that information. So we can actually create a CRM from here, a project management tool, a follow-up guide just to keep track of all your submissions, etc. We're gonna start off with a brand new database. So we're gonna click on new, and we get two options. We can start a database from scratch, or we can select a template. Let me click one from scratch really quickly. I'm gonna name this for video, and I'm gonna start from scratch. I'm not gonna import from Airtable because I'm not using Airtable, but that is possible. If you are jumping away from Airtable because you don't wanna pay month to month, you can go ahead and bring that data in here and stop paying over there. So let's go ahead and add this database. There it is, here is the new database, and we're gonna add a table to it. There we go. And in this case, we have options. So in this case, I will say, for example, customers, okay? And I can create a new table. I can paste table data from another table. I can import it from a JSON file, CSV, or XML. So if you bring in import something from Excel, for example, you bring it in here and it'll load in the data. So in this case, I'll start from scratch and we're gonna add our first table. Here it is, brand new table, completely new with some basic data. I can go ahead and delete that. Go ahead and delete it. And this is how you're going to get started. You have a bunch of rows and columns to create your own database. It's super easy to use and it's not complex at all. So for example, here we have the name one and we can edit this field and we can change it to something else just in case it's not the name you want to use. So if you wanna use it for something else. And then we have the selection of the type of column that we want to use. So in this case, it's gonna be a single line text. Is it gonna be long text? Is it gonna be linked to another table? In this case, it's grayed out because we don't have another table inside of this database. We can do a rating, a bowling, a date, less modified, created on, URL, email, etc. A bunch of these. We're gonna get into these in a bit. First, I want to load in a template because you're gonna be able to view exactly what you can do with it. So let me go into create a new database and we're gonna start from a template. Now it's pretty cool because they already have templates built into this. So basically, it's super easy to get started. So if you wanna create a lightweight CRM, well, we already have kind of a data demo that we can use already. So for example, we already have da demo data for the name, the address, industry, contacts, pipeline, nodes, and it's more complex because you could jump into contacts, activities, pipelines, let me go into pipeline, pipelines, and you have other information. So it's pretty cool. So if we load in this template, we know how to get started. We just clean up the data, but it's already tied to the data that we need already, so we can use it right away. 
We have other options, for example, for hobbies, there's book catalog, and we're able to demo this one to see if it's something that we want to use or not. So for example, there's a bucket list, if you wanna create a bucket list. Um, project management is pretty popular. So for example, software application bugs, there's that one. There's real estate, so if you wanna keep track of your apartment hunt, commercial properties, house search, et cetera, you can see how this looks really nice. Well, we can use this. In this case, I am going to select a professional, which one do I want to use for this demo? And project management would be fine. So we'll use uh, project tracker. Okay, I'll use this one. I'll use this template because I wanna show you how it actually looks and how to get around. So it's gonna load in the data for us right now with this demo data. Again, we can clean it up and use our own. So let's wait for that to load in really quickly. There we go, it just created our database with the tables tied to it. We're able to see all the other databases that we have here also. In this case, I've loaded this template, Project Tracker, and it has our table for projects, tasks, clients, teams, and I can create another table to this if I want to make it more complex or if it's missing something that I might need for my personal use case, okay? So now we have some data here. So we have the day, the row, sorry, the column, for the name, category, the clients. And you can see these are kind of grayed out because these are tied to another table. So inside of this table that we're viewing is also tied to the client section. So we can grab data from another table inside of this database. So it's pretty cool, right? So we have all this data, but what if we want to add something to this? So if something's missing for my project match management tracker, so I can click on the plus button and we can name this, well, what do we wanna use it for? Let's choose one of these. So like I mentioned before, there's all of these type of rows that we can create that makes this unique and advanced, okay? So if it's going to be a link to a table, so like I mentioned before, this one is linked to the clients, that's how you do it. There's, if it's going to be only numbers, if it's gonna be a rating. So let's just say we wanna give a rating to this and let's go ahead and name it rating. And we can select the color for the rating star, the style, so we're gonna be hard, uh, like, dislike, um, some flags, some happy faces. In this case, we'll keep it for stars and we can add more stars or just name to, to five. Let's go ahead and do 10 and create. That's gonna create it for us. It's gonna add that column to this. So now we can rate these customers, for example. So let's just say, well, this is a project, ma project management, but for example, rebranding website. How important is this? So we can put, for example, this is, I don't know, eight stars, that's how important it's going to be. So depending on what you want to use the rating for, if it's going to be to rate a customer, to rate a project, to do something with it, we have these options. We can add another column to this for something else. So it could be bowling, it could be date, last modified, created on, it could be a URL and it's going only going to accept URLs. We can do it for email and it's going to, it's going to only work for emails. We can do file and it's going to be for files. For example, if you want to load in images, documents, etc., we use this one. So if I click on plus, I can drop in a file from my computer or from a URL, we can drop it in. So we have that option. If we click the plus button, again, we got more options. So for example, it could be a single select. So if we have options, we can do a single select. Multi-select, so you can add different selections to this. Phone number, if you want to do a formula to this, we can create the formula and we have the, the advanced formulas right here that we can create. So we wanna add, subtract, multiply, percentages, etc. We can do it from the data that we have. So we can type um, columns to create a result with the formula. There's also the lookup. If you wanna use a lookup for a client, for example, make a choice and do a lookup for this. So a lot of options we have with this and you can make it as simple or advanced as you like with all the data that you have on your database. So it's pretty cool that we have all of that. Again, if you want to view, for example, inside of this database, we have tasks and they're tied to the main one, the clients. So if I add a new client to this, so I can go ahead and put myself. So George Aguilar, oh, that's a company name. So the company name would be SAS Master, et cetera. The contact is George Aguilar, the contact email, et cetera. The about this person, the company website, so I can say this one, sasmaster.net, et cetera, and it just added it to it. So I'm here, number 11. 
and I can grab this data. I can copy and paste to another column or copy several one of these. The teams that are on this database to assign it. So you can see they have their name, their photo, the role, the phone number, and in role, we have selections. So for example, is this person a designer, a developer? So in this case, I will add myself for Aguilar. In this case, I won't add an image, but I can select what my role is, or I can create a new one. So for example, if I designate admin, I'll go ahead and create, go for it. And it's gonna now have that option to it. So now there's admin. And if I drop down and add a new one, so just test. And if I go to the drop down, we have the admin that I've just added. So now we have that selection for this. Now this would be a, let me see if it's a single choice or a choice. So it's a single choice for this one. If it were a multiple choice, like it, like this one, we're able to add multiple of ones of these. So you can see there's a number task right here. So number of tasks that have been added, there's a formula tied to this. So depending on the task that they've added, we're able to view it there. Now, what if we wanna make this a little bit more flashy or nicer? We can add some color to this. So we can add some left border colors for single select. For example, we've added colors. Or how about for conditions? So depending on, for example, I don't know, the amount of task has, I don't know. Let's see, we'll choose whatever. It's gonna be light green, okay? So that's conditional logic. So depending if they have, if it's tied to, I don't know, if it's developer, if it's a task for, et cetera, you add the conditional logic and it will add the color to it. So it helps you kind of find what you need. And this is based on conditional logic. There's also more color selections to this. Let's go ahead and delete it. Background colors. So again, conditions. So now this is coloring the background and not just a little mark on the left. Again, you can use this for some advanced conditional logic. So I'm trying to figure out how I can set this up, like how to, not how to set it up, like tie it to what, so it could be useful. So if this is, I don't know, has, let me choose a project completed. Okay, so this one's not completed. There we go, or has not. See how to turn it around? And we could say it to, for example, green. We can set that there for conditional logic. Now it will depend on what you want to use this for, but it's super useful to kind of view really clearly something that you want to flash, like if you want to view it really quickly. Now, what if we want to share this? Well, we can create a private shareable link. So I'll copy this link. I'll go incognito mode. So I'm not logged into base role. This would be anyone with the link will be able to view this view. So for example, this could be some public data that you want to share. So with that link, you're able to view this. They won't be able to edit anything. They're just going to, oh, I clicked on that. You're only gonna be able to view it, okay? So that's what it does. Let's go away. If you wanna not share that view, you can disable the shared link. Or if you wanna use with a password, that is also possible. So if you wanna restrict it with password, password is password, <laughs> okay? There we go. So this one is a shareable link, but it's only open with the password that I designated it with. So again, that's one of the views. I can share it with another one if I like, and I can share this view also if I like. Now there's a filter to this if I want to filter something out. So for example, if the category contains, uh, what's one of the categories? Design. There we go. Let's add the filter and you can see that it just filter out the category with that one. So there's a filter to only view design and the filter works for that. You can do all disabled or like that. So it's pretty useful for that. We can hide fields also. So let's just say that there's a bunch of fields on this. Let me remove the filter, uh, get rid of it. There we go. Let's just say there's a bunch of columns and I don't need all that information. I wanna keep it clean because, well, I don't need to view all of that. Let's just say I don't need to view, I don't need to view the rating for this. I don't need the click, kickoff date, project team, client, and category, but we can do it like that, okay? So we clean it up and we're able to view a clean view of the information that we want to view clearly. So we don't wanna view everything, just want to view what's important, okay? So we have that option there or show all again. So it's pretty easy to, to view like that. 
okay? We can also export the view. We can use webhooks to make this um, more advanced. If you want to bring in data or bring out data, that is possible with webhooks. This is also tied with Zapier. So for example, I have a quick example here of Zapier. Let's just say that you bring it in a form or someone who signs up, or if you make a sale on WordPress, etc., you bring it in through Zapier and then you can create a role on base row. You can delete the row or you can update the row. So for example, if it's a client that you already have and has new data, a new phone number, it's gonna update it. Or if you need to create a new row, that's what it's going to do. If you need to search for something, it'll get single row or list rows and do something more advanced with it. So again, that's really useful that if you want to use um, integrations with something else, that is possible also. And if you want to use API, that is also available. If we go into the name, settings, API tokens, we can create an API tokens to do things with it. All right. So if you want to do advanced things, we can set what we want to do, we want, what we want to allow or not allow. So for example, we can limit the API to create, read, update, or delete. And we can do this individually for the particular database or table. So for example, if for example, the project tracker, if we want to allow, I don't know, maybe teams, we don't want to allow them to update or delete. We can remove that just particular for that table because maybe we, we, we don't want them to edit that data, but we do want them to create a team member and read. So we have those options. And if you need to create a new token, that is possible. And again, you select it, for example, test, get rid of that for the for his group or videos group because I have two groups created and create the API particular to a group. And last but not least, we have the search option if you want to search for, for something on this particular table. So for example, marketing, okay? And since I have this ticked on, it's gonna remove everything. It's just gonna show me what has marketing. So it keeps it really clean. If I do want to view it, I'll keep that there. And it's gonna highlight whatever says marketing in this case. So it's pretty cool that we have that option to hide matching rows or to view everything and just have it highlight. So we have that search feature that's really neat. But basically that is base role. Like I mentioned before, there's the free version that you can go ahead right now, sign up and start using. Or if you wanna go with the self-hosted one, which is pretty cool. I mean, if you know how to do it, or if you wanna watch a tutorial, there's a bunch of them on the internet and you can load in the files and have your own database loaded on your server. But that is base bro. Do come in, check out the website, check out the features one by one and see if it's a good fit for you. And like I mentioned before, it's a free Airtable alternative that you, you can start using right away. If you don't need Airtable, stop paying month to month and jump over to base bro. But there you go. This is Base Pro. I thank you all for watching. And remember, there will be a link provided in the description to head on over to Base Pro and you can go ahead and sign up. I thank you all for watching and I'll see you later.